Hi, I'm Chris Frost. I'm a systems engineer here at Cisco. In this video, we'll be covering Cisco Umbrella, Cisco's new cloud security platform. What it is, how it works, and how to configure. In fact, in about five minutes, I'll show you how to point your traffic to Umbrella with our free trial process, and in 30 minutes, how you'll see results. So let's go. To start, Cisco Umbrella is Cisco's cloud security platform that provides the first line of defense, no matter where your users are. Here we are on the main page. First, the security overview shows you the volume of all requests, all blocked requests, and security blocks over any port or protocol trending over time. It lists your top security events by either destinations, identities, or types. Identities can be a network, a specific device, or an Active Directory user, up to you to configure. Destinations can be a domain name, IP address, or a URL path, the places your identities visit. Types provides details of what caused a block. And now you can see a summary highlighting activity of your networks, roaming clients, and virtual appliances as deployed. The most common deployment is to point DNS from your internal DNS or DHCP servers to Umbrella. Alternatively, you can use a network device integration with Cisco Integrated Services Router or various Wi-Fi access points. To add granularity, you can optionally deploy our virtual appliances to forward internal network and user identities embedded within DNS traffic. To ensure users are protected 100% of the time on your corporate network, at all office locations with direct internet access, and when they're at home or on the road, we make it simple to provision your roaming computers. If you're one of the 185 million users in the world using Cisco AnyConnect, simply upgrade it to the newest version and enable the umbrella module. If you use any other VPN, no worries. Our standalone roaming client works alongside it without any conflicts or added latency. Let's switch over for a moment to the end user experience. Here we see a roaming computer deployment using Cisco AnyConnect. Even though the VPN is turned off, the off-network user is protected automatically by Umbrella without any user action needed. What if a user is phished with an email attachment containing ransomware? Upon opening it, the infected laptop can call back to the attacker's infrastructure over any portal protocol to download an encryption key. But Umbrella uses both DNS and IP layer enforcement, which silently protects the user even if ransomware has hard-coded IP addresses for command and control. Now, let's demo a typical attack, phishing the user to click a malicious link. In targeted attacks, the email may appear to come from a CEO's email and links to the company's website. Even tech-savvy users may miss a substituted or repeated character in the domain name. Otherwise, this email looks legitimate. Using Umbrella's default block page, a custom block page, or redirecting the connection to your own server, the user is informed that the destination contained a security threat. Let's return to the admin user experience to act on this or another block web link or C2 callback by viewing all recent security activity. Filter or sort by different security event types and expand to see all details of a specific security event. You can also choose time periods or a particular day on the top level graph to pivot into an activity report. Within seconds, you can search, filter, save, and export all global security and non-security activity. To help get an insight into different activity types, there are separate activity reports for traffic by domain requests, URL requests, and IP requests. The URL report shows activity for all requests that were redirected to the intelligent proxy, including the full URL and outcome. From here, you can drill down on a request and see full details, including additional information about files from AMP. By clicking on the destination, we display your local activity trend for the last 24 hours and up to the last 30 days. In this example, Umbrella defended you against a reoccurring threat. By viewing the global traffic percentage, we can infer whether the attack may have been targeted or opportunistic, enabling you to better prioritize your investigations. If further response is warranted, you can use our Investigate product to get a complete view of a domain's relationships and evolution on the internet. For example, with this domain, you may identify global traffic spikes over the past 30 days, indicating the launch of an attack campaign. Or you can see the domain ownership and uncover other malicious domains registered with the same contact emails or hosted by the same name servers. You can also correlate files analyzed by Cisco AMP record with the destination to understand how any malware would behave on infected systems. You can even see other domains that are frequently requested within seconds before or after the domain you are investigating, which happens automatically without user interaction. Returning to Umbrella, 
you can quickly learn which other top identities were defended against the same threat. A common risk are users who request one malicious destination, but end up requesting many others. So let's pivot into identity reporting. Here you can see how many total requests were allowed, blocked, or proxied for this identity, and whether this matches the historical trend or not. We can see other top destinations classified as security threats or just frequently requested by the identity. Moving on, you'll notice that some top security categories are coming from other Cisco or third-party products. In leveraging our API, you can integrate Umbrella with partner products in minutes or create your own custom integration with a simple script. Such integrations enable you to convert local intelligence into global prevention in seconds. Finally, a quick look at policies. As you can see, this policy impacts 37 identities. The policy includes a number of security categories that can be applied according to predefined profiles or individually. Here, all the security settings have been selected, meaning these security categories will be applied to the identities in this policy. Category settings for content filtering are applied to these users. You can apply predefined profiles with a high, moderate, or low level filtering or create a custom list. Destination lists allow you to control specific domains and URLs that can be accessed by users in this policy. Security settings not only include allowing or blocking specific categories, but also include enabling file inspection through our intelligent proxy and IP layer enforcement capabilities. Block page settings offer customized messages or bypass options for these users. And to complete this policy, you can enable all features of the intelligent proxy through a single setting, define and configure SSL decryption, as well as choose to log everything, nothing, or just security events. And that's it. Pretty simple. In fact, in the time it took you to watch this video, you could have already pointed your traffic to Umbrella. Visit our website to sign up for a free trial. And we look forward to being your first line of defense against the internet threats out there.